Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to be going over the SFP wizard from Ubiquity. You can copy SFP profiles, and you can take another SFP, put it in, and you can put that profile on another brand SFP, so it will work with your networking gear. In my case, I have this Microtech switch here. I have the Ubiquity SFP plugged into port one here, but I have no activity lights. My switch on the other end is a old IBM 10 gig switch and it does not like this Ubiquity SFP module. So I'm gonna be taking the IBM SFP module that it came with, plugging it into here, copying it, and then plugging in the Ubiquity SFP module and moving its firmware onto the Ubiquity one so it will work with my IBM switch. So let's go down to my rack. I'll show you how easy it is to copy and write the info to the Ubiquity SFP module to get it to work with that switch. So as you can see here, I have no activity lights. And this is the Ubiquity 10 gig multi-mode module that I bought. And like I said, this is my old IBM switch here. And here is one of the SFP plus modules it came with. It's a blade module. And then I got some uh, IBM modules to go with it too. So we're gonna plug this blade SFP plus module into the SFP wizard, copy it, and then plug the Ubiquity branded one into it and put it on here. So this one here is the blade module. We'll get it plugged in here. And it says profile copied. It was just that quick. So we'll remove it. This is the Ubiquity one now so we will click on write here and it's going to take a little bit for it to write it i'll show you once it gets done and it says writing complete so we'll go ahead and remove it and plug it in and see if it works so i got the ubiquity module here on this side i didn't have to do anything with this side because this micro tick switch will work with these modules so we'll go ahead and plug it into port one here never the right way the first time and we have activity on port one and on the screen here it is touch screen and it does move like if you tip it it changes pretty cool and then it has bluetooth turned on I guess you can connect it to your phone and then if you swipe down you have the brightness Bluetooth on and off you can lock the screen so when you move it you know tilt it it won't change orientation on you and then you get your battery up in the top right and that's pretty much all you have on the screen until you plug in an SFP module so all in all I think this SFP wizard from Ubiquity is pretty cool it allows me to copy my old transceivers and get them to work with an old, you know, picky network switch. So that way I don't have to buy proprietary SFP plus modules. I can just buy Ubiquities or any other vendors and copy the optical module profile onto the new one to get it to work with the old switch. So if you're thinking about picking up one of these at $49, I think it's a really good deal. Ubiquity didn't send this to me. I bought it with my own money. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Adam. If you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button and while you're down there run some fiber to your like button and smash it that's all i have and i'll see you guys on the next one